What's up, Dave from We Came as Romans? And uh, super stoked about our upcoming tour in Australia with uh, Invent Animate. It's going to be awesome. Beautiful, Dave. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. All right. So We Came as Romans are preparing for an Australian tour, kicking off in Adelaide on August the 29th before going through Sydney and Melbourne and finishing in Brisbane on September the 2nd. Like, is it are you guys packed yet? You're that excited? You're already packed and ready to go? <laughs> kind of. Uh, I mean, we're on tour right now. So, I mean, I guess I'll just throw my suitcase in the plane and I'll be good to go. <laughs> Wash a couple of socks and a couple of pairs of chocks and you'll be away. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, we're <laughs> ready, man. We're, uh, we're excited. We, we love touring Australia. So, excited to finally be going back. I bet, mate. So, what can fans expect from you on the run of shows, bro? We'll be playing a bunch of new stuff. Uh, but, you know, we got a long set. So, throwing some old ones along the way, some old singles, some classics. And, um, you know, it's been a long time since we played Australia. So we'll make sure to play a little bit of everything. When you say a long time, mate, it is your first visit here in seven years now. I know things haven't been the best for the band, but what, what what's changed within, within that period mainly? I don't know. I feel like we've kind of refocused ourselves as a band. Um, you know, going through the tragedy we went through and... Um, developing our relationships with each other around it I think we're stronger than ever and um for me personally I found a new uh like a new love to the band because th there was a minute you know after Kyle passed and everything we were going through I just wasn't even sure if we were going to be able to keep doing this or if to be honest if anyone cared and um you know we dropped Dark Bloom and it's done extraordinary and we have been doing tours off it and people love the record. And, um, and for us, it just feels good to have worked through everything we went through. And yeah, I mean, I've just found a new, a new spark with playing music and touring and everything. So, I mean, I think we're all just in a, the best headspace we've been in for a long time. And, um, I guess that would be the biggest thing that's changed in the last few years for us. And as you say, you're celebrating last year's album, Dark Bloom. Like, you touched on this a little bit, but how's it been received by everyone, mate? Does it go down like you hoped? Yeah, it's been awesome. Um, we, we've, dropped, we've dropped songs and records and stuff that haven't been received as well. And so I, I know what it's like when people aren't vibing with a new song or a new record. And um, it is not that at all. It's, it's been very well received. And it's nice playing shows and having the biggest moments in the set be new, new to new songs, you know, um, we play some older ones and they do well, of course, but like all the biggest moments in our set currently are, um, for the dark bloom songs. That's a good sign. And the, the, Absolutely. The, the press release says about that album that it ushered in an ambitious, courageous new era for we came as Romans. Would you agree with that statement? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we knew going into the studio to make it, we had to, come up with something huge um you know something to honor kyle and we were all working through so many things at the time it's like it was kind of overwhelming to try to put it on the paper um but we took our time with it and wrote a shit ton of songs i think we wound up writing like 40 something songs for that record only obviously used 10 of them um so i mean yeah it was a it was a difficult process and i think because we took our time and really thought everything out as thoroughly as we could i think we came up with something that yeah it's it's it was definitely outside of our comfort zone and something different compared to anything else we've created and as you said you're bringing in bet animate over for their first ever australian tour mate so what choose those guys as touring partners um we've been doing this too long to tour with bands that we think aren't a good band or guys that we've heard are not cool to hang out with um we're we're pretty like selective now and who we bring out on the road and you know we just heard that they're, they're cool guys we we enjoy their music and um you know we figured it'd, it'd be a fun run to do with them uh, go back in history a bit mate like we came as romans formed in 2005 like i know you didn't come until the following year but what was the musical climate like back then that, that sort of gave birth to the band and where did they fit in initially i always felt like we were the oddball band um in our local scene like we weren't the cool band <laughs> We uh, never really got on cool shows. Uh, no one 
no one really cared about us for a long time um, in our local scene. And uh, a lot of the bands by us were a lot heavier. It was a lot of like hardcore bands and um, like straight edge kind of hardcore bands. And so, yeah, it was kind of hard for us to get on shows. And when we did get on shows, we like were too weird. People didn't like us. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was an interesting climate. And, you know, as we started being in the scene more um, and playing more shows and developing and becoming a, a real band, um, you know, more and more bands kind of started to come around to like our style of music. And um, I mean, and that and in our area, so many sweet bands came out around that time as well. And I, I like to think like in Detroit, we we have a long time. Like we, we pretty much have nice weather like four months a year. So the other eight months, you can't really do shit. So <laughs> a lot of people just make music or get creative. And I think that's a big reason why like our, our city is pretty known for great music, great art, um, great food. <laughs> Because what else do you do those eight months a year that suck? <laughs> True. <laughs> and what would you say the band's early vision was back then? And how has it changed since? I mean, back then, uh, we just wanted to play shows. We didn't, we didn't care who was there or what we were getting paid or what the venue was like. Nothing. You know, we just wanted to play. And we would just play and play and play and play. We confirmed every single show we possibly could. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we just, we just grinded it out. And, it made it happen back then. It was, it was good times. Our parents were all pissed at us because we all dropped out of college. And <laughs> <laughs> they understand now, but at the at the time, they were like, "What you you want to what?" <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, so you it's guys wild. Got this tour of Australia coming up in the end of August, early September. But what's planned for we came as Romans after that? Dude, we're booked through uh, twenty twenty four. Like to the start of 2024 um i can't say everything we have booked but yeah we are doing a tour right now with under Oath ghost inside and then we come to australia after australia um we got something planned in the u.s and then something else planned in europe um early 2024 so we're we're super busy and then uh in between all that we're we're writing we started writing for the next record a couple months ago um so yeah we're just we're grinding out staying busy all right, Dave. Well, thanks for your time, mate. I'll let you get back over to that barbecue. It looks pretty good in the background, bro. And we'll see you out here in about a month. Yeah. All right, man. Thank you for having me. All right. Have a good day.